Visitors Freiburg fourth in the table with the first ever Champions League campaign in their sights with the visitors. Köln knew that if other results went their way, a win could secure their top flight status. The Billy Goats, on a run of four home games without a win, came out strongly in front of a capacity 50,000 crowd. They had the first real chance of the game after 20 minutes when Mark Flecken flapped it across before finally being able to stop the threat from Linton Miner's efforts. It was Flecken who dampened Köln's enthusiasm again a couple of minutes later. This time, he brilliantly saved Eric Martel's headed effort that was teed up for him by Davy Zelka. To deny the midfielder a goal on his 21st birthday with a reflex save as Köln pushed for an opening goal. Stefan Baumgart's side the more attack-minded in the first half, but one goal in the previous five home games was not a particularly good omen for them. Just under 10 minutes after the restart, it was the visitors who took the lead, rather unsurprisingly, from a dead ball. The Bundesliga's set-piece supremos showed their deadly efficiency from a Christian Gunter corner, headed on by Lukas Hörler for Ritzo Doan to finish off. His 10th Bundesliga goal, but the first he'd scored with his head. To this point, no side in the league had won as many points from a losing situation as Köln, and they upped their considerable input to try and achieve parity. But it was Flecken once more who foiled their attempt seven minutes after the hour, somehow turning in mid-air to keep out a goal-bound deflection from teammate Philipp Lienhardt. Köln kept up the pressure and their running as they tried in vain to get past a solid and confident Freiburg back line. Köln piled on the shots but rarely troubled Flecken. With just over 10 to play, substitute Stefan Tigges on any other day might have done better, but this day belonged to Freiburg. Stefan Baumgart might have thought his team were worth a point, but with a top-four finish at stake, Freiburg were in no mood to share the spoils.